Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie, co-author of Microeconomics for MBAs, The Economic Way of Thinking for Managers, uh, published by Cambridge University Press. I am a professor of economics and management in the Mirage School of Business at the University of California, Irvine. My co-author on the textbook is Dwight Lee, professor of economics in the Terry School of Business at the University of Georgia, uh, Athens. Both Dwight and I have taught only MBA students for more than a decade, which is to say, we know our audience. As the title suggests, we've designed this textbook with only MBA students in mind. In part one of every chapter, we cover standard microeconomic theory in an accessible way. And we provide an array of applications to government policies, which MBA students need to understand. After all, managers everywhere face the constraints of government-imposed laws and regulations that are ever-changing, and managers must work to maximize their firm's profits with those constraints in mind. Moreover, professors in marketing, finance, accounting, strategy, and operations research who teach first and second year elective courses in MBA programs will expect their students to have a firm grounding in conventional microeconomic theory. In part two of every chapter, we go where other microeconomic textbooks seldom if ever go with such completeness. We drop the usual assumption that firms exist and that they automatically maximize owners' profits by following simple maximization rules. Instead, we bring to the forefront of our analysis a crucial problem faced by firms. This problem, dubbed the principal agency uh, problem within the economics profession and in this textbook, is that both owners and workers are more interested in pursuing their own welfare than in pursuing somebody else's uh, welfare. Owners, whom we call principals, want to maximize their income stream and wealth through the firm they create it by getting the most they can out of their employees. Similarly, managers and line workers, the owners, so-called agents, seek to maximize some combination of income, on-the-job perks, and job security which are often in conflict with their maximization of firm uh, profits. Without effective firm policies that align the incentives of owners and the incentives of workers for the mutual benefit of both, that is both owners and workers, the work in a firm can be a self-destructive uh, tug of war between principals and their agents, with the demise of the firm virtually assured in highly competitive markets. Reader reactions to large and small questions will, we expect, have changed radically by the time they have read the last words of this volume. One such question that we deal with in this volume is how should organizations and how should incentives be structured to best encourage a profit maximization? How does a firm get incentives uh, right? How does the competition in, in the market for the good and in the market for corporate control, uh, discipline executives, and ensure that uh, production is done cost-effectively. We expect readers of this book will end this book the way our students leave our classes, changed for life in the way they see the business world about them. But then that is what MBA students typically want or should want from every course in their MBA program, a change in their world view. Readers have our best wishes for a journey of a lifetime. To help you understand the material in, in the textbook, we will provide a number of video modules that will be available on DVD. These video modules will be relatively short, about 10 minutes on average, but they can range from 5 minutes to, say, uh, 15 minutes. We intend to keep them short, and we can do this be, by speeding along. Uh, you, we know that you can stop the video modules at any point. You can rewind them and replay them again and again and again. We will also keep them short by introducing few elaborations. We will leave the elaborations for the textbook. Finally, we can keep them short uh, because you can't interrupt us uh, with questions, uh, which means that we can move uh, right along. But still, uh, you have the benefit of being able to stop the modules rewind them, and replay them as many times as you wish. In these video modules, we will cover two types of materials. First, we will cover basic concepts, principles, and lines of analysis. 
In one module, we will take up the law of demand, and only the law of demand. It's an important concept in economics. We deal with basic concept principles and lines of analysis because we know that many MBA students have never had a course in microeconomics. Then there are other MBA students who may have taken a course in microeconomics, but they may have taken it years, if not decades, ago. And many of these students have forgotten uh, what they learned. We will also introduce the more complicated uh, lines of analysis, those lines of, of argument that uh, students are not likely to get on one pass in a lecture or one pass in a video module, and they may need to rewind and replay them time and again. One such line of analysis will be how the minimum wage laws influence uh, both uh, uh, worker uh, behavior and manager uh, behavior. In developing the uh, video modules, uh, we don't have to only deal with you through talking heads as I am uh, right now. I can move to an overhead uh, camera that I can use uh, as my blackboard and I can m do whatever, I can point out various things, I can develop uh, arguments uh, through a clean slate. For example, you will find uh, that at one point we will be developing the Maslow hierarchy of needs and it goes on up the line from physiological needs uh, to self-actualization uh, needs. Anyway, we intend to use these modules uh, to, um, uh, to work through uh, things that would be covered on a blackboard. We can also do some serious analysis with this overhead uh, camera. For example, in one video module we will talk about the downward sloping uh, demand curve and we will t uh, introduce the upward sloping uh, supply curve. And we will use this blackboard that we have here uh, to talk about why the price in a competitive market will move toward the intersection of these two curves or to an equilibrium price of P1 and an equilibrium uh, quantity of, of Q1. These video modules will be informal. Uh, they will not be polished, nor do we intend uh, to polish them at great uh, length. We want them to be conversational. We hope you will get the impression from listening to these modules that you are receiving something of a tutorial session uh, by watching uh, them. We hope the video videos will have beneficial effects for you and your professor. You can use the videos for acquiring a greater depth of understanding of the course material and for reviewing for examinations. Because of the availability of the videos, your professor can use classroom time more effectively by offloading a basic instruction to these videos. Your instructor can then use classroom time to deal with more sophisticated issues and topics of interest to you and to your instructor. All in all, we truly hope you find your course in microeconomics productive and a wonderful journey. Please feel free to contact us through the email addresses included in your course material. Uh, thank you uh, very much for listening.